Shalom, Shalom, Yisrael, 12 tribes strong, hallelujah, and to all of the uh, companions and friends of Yisrael, Shalom, Shalom to you also. Um, it's been a couple of days since I actually did a video from, uh, from the truck, so here I am. I did post a couple of videos, so I hope you all are being blessed by those uh, from our services. But this uh, particular video, uh, there's been something on my mind for like three or four days, and I said I better make a video about this because I keep thinking about it. And that is um, this idea of DNA. DNA. Um, I know a lot of people are going to get DNA tests and uh, Hebrew Israelites that are waking up to the truth are also spending money <clears throat> getting uh, DNA tests to find out where they come from and what they're looking for in the DNA is they're looking for the DNA to come back saying you're Jewish you're Jewish and so when the DNA doesn't come back saying that they're Jewish, they say, oh, well, I must not be uh, a Jew, a Hebrew. I must just be a Gentile. So uh, first of all, um, the whole DNA um, tests, they are different levels. If you don't know that, then you need to research it a little bit different. different. Not all DNA tests are the same, number one. So you already know that there's some type of trickery and tomfoolery with the whole process of DNA testing, if it's just not all the same, DNA should be DNA. So why do I get a better test with more money? <laughs> if I test it at a $100 level, I'm gonna get this. If I get the $300 test, they're gonna give me this information. And if I give you the $1,500 test, it'll give you this information and the $5,000, we're gonna actually tell you the truth. <laughs> it's a racket. It's a ragged. So, <clears throat> first and foremost, you are Hebrew because the manuscript says you're Hebrew. All of the different, and I've, I've done hundreds of videos and there's other people that posted them, all of the different verses of the holy manuscript uh, that point to who his children are, it's unmistakable who you are because you're the only one that fits all those descriptions. Not only um, does the manuscript talk about your physical description but uh, it also talks about your uh, physical situation your uh, as far as uh, what condition you would go through as a nation and um, the different locations that you'll be scattered and and if you just read there's just a lot so your first uh, key to who you are and who you are not is the Holy Scriptures and it should be fine but because of, of course people still want further proof and so they go with the DNA understand a couple of things about be, being Jewish or being connected to Jewish people um, first of all 98% of Jewish people based on their own uh, literature are people from Ashkenaz and the Ashkenaz the Ashkenazi uh, Jewish people come from the Caucasus Mountains that's where you get the word or you get the idea of Caucasian so it's the Caucasus Mountains and these are Asians people who have an Asian tree Cauc from the Caucasus Mountains Caucasian see how that works the Caucasians so these Caucasians um, are not and I'm painting with a really wide brush right now but genetically speaking they are not bloodline descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel um, Abraham Isaac and Jacob the 12 tribes they converted to uh, Judaism and this form of Judaism about 700 years after um, the death, burial, and resurrection of our Hamasiah, Yahushua, long live the king, Yahoo. 
so they are not um, so they can't be your marker so when a person tells you that you're not them that you're not Ashkenazi then that it, that doesn't tell you that you're not a Hebrew Israelite it just tells you that you're not Ashkenazi so that shouldn't make you feel one way or another as far as being down on yourself because you're not connected to a group who's not connected to the actual bloodline descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Yacob. And it's by their own writings. You can look in the Encyclopedia Britannica. You can look at, uh, which is Britain's um, rec record of the Ashkenazi Jewish people, which was written by Jewish people. Um, you can look in the uh, Encyclopedia Judaica. It's in there too, which is Judaica is them writing about themselves. So, your DNA is, um, your DNA has to, when you take that test, you need to look at the markers because it's, it's not being traced to Ashkenaz or the Caucasus Mountains, especially if you're Hebrew Israelite. It need, your tracers have to go back to the historical records of the migration of our people. So, um, I, I had a, a brother of mine, we we're close, and I was trying to explain to him that he's Hebrew, and he was trying to tell me that, no, nah, he's not Hebrew, he's, he's Hermetic. And I said, no, nah, you're not Hermetic, you're, you're Hebrew, and, and the Hebrew Israelites, they actually lived around the Hermetic people the whole time. Yefeth, the, the Japhetic people, like the uh, Caucasian or like the Ashkenazi people who are Caucasian, who never have claimed to be Negro and they don't claim to be uh, black. Um, they are Caucasian. So they are from um, Japheth. The Japhetic people are, are, are a completely different line. I said, but the Shemetic, the people from Shem, um, of course they stayed in Africa. So. I was talking to the brother about that and I said, man, the migration started, of course, um, uh, we were in the land of Ur of the Chaldees and then from Ur to the land of Canaan. And then from Canaan 400 years in Egypt and then after Egypt, uh, we lived in the, in the Holy Land, which is uh, Palestine or the land of Canaan where Jerusalem, Israel is. I said, but after 70 AD, remember, that the tribe of Judah and Benjamin and Levi and others that were in Judea were scattered. I said, so some of them were scattered through the slave trade that began with Islam, of course, um, and then pushed us all the way through Africa. Some of the scattered scattering of those people landed them in the Americas. Uh, South America, Central America, all the islands, North America, and other parts of the world. So when you do these DNA tests, you don't want to take a test trying to hook you up with the Ashkenaz from the Caucasian, Caucasus, Asians from Caucasus Mountains, Caucasians. You don't want to try to hook up with that. That's not what you're looking for. What you're looking for in your markers, if you do pay enough money, to get the right test. <laughs> and by the way, don't tell them nothing when you do it. Just let them, just send in a sample. Don't say, this is my mama, this is my daddy, this is where we from. No, no, if they, if it's DNA, they ought to be able to give you the answer. So don't give them no information. Just send in a, a, a test with nothing. Just say, trace this and send it to this address and, and make the address like a P.O. box or something so that they won't, you know, be like trying to trace you to to do that. Now, this is what you're looking for in the last couple of minutes of this video. This is what you're looking for. You're looking for your DNA to take you from the Americas or from the islands, wherever you're from. I'm talking about the Hebrew Israelite descent, the people that they've been calling Negro and Black and Spoon and African American. What you're looking for in your DNA test is the migration through slavery to a particular slave port and then from there to either an island like I was telling you this brother to an island and then of course from the island to West Africa and then from West Africa 
to the interior of Africa and then from there to East Africa. If your DNA does that, you're a Hebrew Israelite. <laughs> if your DNA takes you from here and hooks you up any place on east in East Africa, North East Africa, forget about these man-made uh, borders and lines. If your DNA takes you to East Africa through the Atlantic slave trade, you're a Hebrew Israelite. So when the brother got his test back, man, he called me on the phone and he said, he said, man, it's very interesting about my DNA. And I said, well, tell me what it said. He said, well, uh, of course it brought me to the Americas, uh, but it also went through Jamaica, which of course I, okay. And he sent him from Jamaica to Ghana. He said from Ghana into Nigeria, and then all the way to Ethiopia, man. I mean, all the way, to, to, and I thought that was really strange. <laughs> and he said, and there was a little bit of Europe, European. And I said, okay. I said, so really, what you just told me proved my point. And he said, well, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say I'm Ghanaian. Now, do you see what happened there? Even though the DNA took him back to East Africa where his people are actually from Yisrael um, there was there's always these weird roadblocks in our psyche it's been put by the enemy that that makes you go well I'm not gonna go any further than this but if you study biblical history you're gonna study that it was the Hebrew people that not only was, was dropped off um, in America but also to the islands they were sold into slavery by the uh, Hermetic people. They got to West Africa through the persecution of the Muslim slave traders and men hunters. And they were ran out of their land. They went to, they went to hide in all the different North African countries until eventually, because of the power of the Roman Empire, they were pushed sub-Sahara. So when you go backwards, you end up back to East Africa. So if you do take a DNA test, I just want you to know, number one, they're flawed because if there's price levels, you know it's a game. And number two, if you do go ahead and pay the money, look for the right markers. Look for the markers that take you to East Africa. And uh, it'll take you behind the slave trade and it'll probably give you some assurance that yes, just like the Bible said, we were dispersed from Yisrael and scattered to the four corners of the earth. Hallelujah. Shalom.